It don't matter. You're in the ring or in the field. You fight with everything you got till you got nothing left. There ain't no such thing as sparring, illegal moves, rules. You forget that. You put that other guy down. That's all that matters. But this is just a boxing training course. I'm not going to kill the guy I'm in the ring with. <laughs> ah. Your job, your only job, is to obey orders. Don't think, don't question. You keep punching till I tell you to stop punching. You think he's going to back down? Or him? Ah. This is going to keep tripping you up, boy. You're a warrior. Stop thinking like one. Double time it to the flag pulling back and you think about how badly you want to hit me. What? The rest of you think you're exempt? Move it! Cobra's future's looking bright as always. Oh, you spared me the recruitment poster. You come down to the gym for a refresher or what? A mission for you. Green Beret? Dead or alive? Somewhere in between. We need him return to his superiors in a convincing manner. Yeah, that's too bad. I'd love to break this loser in two. Maybe you'll get your chance, but for now, glove up. Our time frame is narrow. So it's not enough to just sound like Don Johnson. You gotta dress like him too? Where are you headed in that getup? Some heavy maneuvers in the country, sir. It's a long story and I don't have time to tell. Good. I don't want to hear any lame valley girl stories. Huh. What's got your coat? How do you go from soldier to playboy so fast? <laughs> I usually take my Corvette. It takes a lot of nerve to go on vacation while Hawk is still recovering. Hey brother, I need this time. It was approved by Hawk and I'm going. Besides, you're in charge now. When I get back, the HQ will still be here, Hawk will be recovered, and I'll be ready for Operation Red Glare. Sometimes I think you will never learn what it means to be a real soldier. Adios, head honcho. Get out of my sight. How long has he been there? An hour? Two? Four. Four hours? Four days. But who cares? He's a nutcase. Not even Cobra. No wonder they keep him in a cage. It's a disgrace. I heard they had him breaking in some new equipment. Yeah, it turns out he's a natural with the high mobility jetpack. Of course, flying fruitcake makes perfect sense. I feel sorry for the birds. Maybe he'll do us a favor and smear himself all over the mountain range. Sir! Dismissed! Raptor, get down from there. You have your first assignment. <laughs> your security on a highly sensitive mission. Try not to foul it up. You, them. You all think I'm some kind of joke. Ugh, that's okay. It's an orthodox. I know, and that's exactly why it'll work. <laughs> huh? Who's scripting this clown anyway? <laughs> oh, Falcon, Falcon, Falcon. <laughs> 
<laughs> nice shirt, Falcon. <laughs> yeah, it takes more than a shirt to be as handsome as me. What? It's the only thing I could find. <laughs> That's because all your other clothes are camouflaged and you can't see them in your closet. <laughs> nice one, Chuckles. <laughs> Is that your car? Yeah. I thought that car belonged to the makeup woman here to see CoverGirl. <laughs> Zero to 60 in 5.9 seconds. But it's pink. We all can't be olive green with envy. Everyone will get us confused. Besides, the chicks dig it. Nice car, Falcon. Why, thank you, Jinx. Yeah, you have a plastic face, but I can still see your grin. How about you and I go for a cruise when I get back? Ugh, gag me with a spoon. How about I just punch you in the guts with the bow staff instead? Thanks for the offer, but I'm out of here. I've got things to do and people to see. <laughs> just wait till I tell everyone on base that this tough guy has a pink car. <laughs> Master, seems like someone high up thinks you're useful. I've got a mission for you. <laughs> Crockmaster, where are you? Come out, come out wherever you are. Sorry, Charlie. No more laying in the swamp doing nothing all day living it up on Cobra Island. No. Come out of there, you bathing beauty. There's a secure location that needs to be unsecured if you know what I mean. Oh, 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 rats. Are you gonna get your mission? Chelsea, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I'll just place these right here on the ground. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> What the heck is going on in this organization? Whatever happened to the normal terrorist? <laughs> Woo wee! Check out that shiny car. Oh, it's just you, Falcon. I thought it was that pretty makeup girl again. Looks like someone's gonna be having some fun. Where you're heading to, Falcon? That's classified. And you know how it goes. If I tell you, you're gonna have to kill me. No, you'll tell Chuckles, and Chuckles will tell the entire base where I'm at, and I'm not gonna get any rest on my vacation. So, gotta go. ABC ya. That guy's so hard to read. You're not, Heather. And y'all were doing witted foe. <laughs> so much for Guard Gators, Inc. I'm gonna give you and your butt ugly Gators one chance to bust a move out of here. Tyra, Temple Nate, attack! Great. I've been looking for a nice pair of Gator skin boots. Here you go, Mr. Gator. Fetch. I guess those boots are made for retreating. <laughs> Tiffany, what have you done to her? Y'all are gonna pay for that. Come on. Come on. 
Whoa, come on. I got you now. I got you. Come on. Hey, hey, Morgan. I'm going to you. Are you come serious? You. A whip? Hey, Morgan. Come on. I'm going to show you the Temple of Doom, Indy. Hey. Whoa, go. Come on. I'm going to squash you like that gator. I'm gonna whip you good. Drop the whip, Mr. Jones. What the heck? Who do you think you are, Rocky? Come on, my mom hits harder than that. Come on, tough guy. I can do this all day, nut job. Y'all are going to pay for that. Oh, what's wrong with you two? Who brings gators and the boxing gloves to a home invasion? Enough. Falcon. 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 Uh, uh. Falcon. Falcon. Relax. We don't want to hurt you. You should have told that to the hoser with the boxing gloves. G.I. Uh. Joe will return after these messages. From the guys that brought you G.I. Joburg, the podcast, and G.I. Joburg, the web series, comes G.I. Joburg, the t-shirt, the leggings, the phone covers, the mug, and even G.I. Joburg, the socks. Available only on our official Teespring store. Link in the description below. Berg! Now, back to G.I. Joe. Radio waves to induce paranoia? That's the goofiest thing I have ever heard. How do you think Cobra Commander convinces so many to join a terrorist organization determined to rule the world? We are in a whole new age of deception. Deceptive warfare? I thought my in-laws were crazy, but that takes the cake. I've written many papers about it and researched it heavily. Well, you did go to Berserkly. Careful, dial tone. Your psych review is coming up soon. Don't play mind games with me. I'm too smart for that. Are you? Do you think mind control is real? Yes and no. Hypnotism and the art of suggestion are real. Making humans robots under the control of another? Well, that's a whole other level. So what about Lady J? Sorry, buddy. Can't talk about that. Can that gizmo read my mind? Yes. And you should be ashamed about the thoughts you have about CoverGirl. Nice try. CoverGirl is a model. All the guys get a little giddy around her. This gizmo doesn't read minds. It's a sonic generator. <laughs> Only gypsies of the seventh son of a seventh son can read minds. Everybody knows that. That's bogus. Nobody can read minds. A UCLA study showed that only 7% of communication is verbal. The rest is vocal tone and body language. Some people can just read body language easier than others. <laughs> if you ask me, your body language is plastic. I'm sorry, I'm not buying what you're selling. Paranoia, deceptive warfare, mind reading and mind control, it's all hogwash. You don't have to believe me. In fact, my job is easier when people don't believe me. If someone believes you, I have a bridge to sell them. Hang on, dial tone. Let me make sure this device isn't set to grumpy old soldier mode. Whatever, I still don't get it. Hey, what's that light for? That's odd. What's odd? A distress signal. It looks like it's Falcons. Distress signal? I didn't know we had one of those. This is G.I. Joe. If we don't have it, then it hasn't been invented yet. Duke, Falcon is not responding to our ping. Something doesn't sound right. Scramble a tomahawk and crew to check it out. Falcon, you are going to tell me about Red Glare. 
the bombs bursting in air. Gate proved through the night that our flag was still there. Falcon, I know you know about Operation Red Glare. Sorry, Grandpa. No idea what you're talking about. Hmm. You don't have to tell me anything. So how am I supposed to tell you something I don't know, geezer? Falcon, it seems like you want to give us the location of Operation Red Glare. It's upstairs in the medicine cabinet, next to the hair dye. <sighs> Your lame attempts at jokes are not funny. I'm... I'm not talking. Now, tell me about Red Glare. I'm not talking. So testy, you are stalling. Your friends are not going to make it in time. Forget them and think about Red Glare. Red Glare. I'm not talking. Hmm, don't worry, Falcon. You don't have to talk. You've already told me what I need to know. You will tell everyone that your vacation was bodacious. Bodacious. One more thing, never wear that ridiculous lion shirt again. Bodacious. What are those diabolical things? Well, it's gotta be Cobra. Target practice. Well, I'm not Suzu. I don't got no Uzi. And those ugly things are gonna meet my ma deuce. And I'll take the bouncing trash can. You take care of that loop at table saw. Falcon's down there. He needs our help. Crazy leg. Sit your foot down. Grab that six and perforate these clowns. Don't worry. You're big enough to handle both guns. I'm gonna go get Falcon. I'm not gonna pout. But I think we should drop legs from your name. Because you are just crazy for jumping out. HQ, this is Tomahawk 3. We have hostiles inside the house. Crazy Legs has flown the coop and is on the ground. Come on, we need to go. Joes are coming. Well, what did he say? He didn't say nothing, man. We've got what we need. Let's go before the reinforcements arrive. <laughs> I see three enemy combatants leaving the house. One's in some bouncy thing and the other two in a circular saw? Whoa, look out! Is that guy dressed like a bird? I don't know. I was too focused on those four cannons. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I'm fixing to clip his wings. Be odd it you can be, says the recruiter. But he doesn't tell you about the true horrors of Cobra! I can't get a lock on that thing. It's too small and too fast. <laughs> I can't get a lock. Without a lock, our missiles are useless. Use the cannon. In a residential area? Don't have to worry about hitting any houses if you don't miss. We can't take that risk. We're supposed to protect them civilians. <laughs> Is this guy trying to splatter himself all over our windshield? Maybe I can draw him out into the countryside. Then you can take your shot. Incoming missile! Hang on, this is gonna be tight! Oh, but jeebers! 
if I had any hair, it'd be flying in the air. Birds of a feather fight together! Yeah! These things think I'm Mitch Brenner. Time to cook one of these birds for dinner. Yeah! I'm gonna lose my sight to these peckers. But no one helps you with these feathery hecklers. Rastro, what are you doing? I gotta get these birds off Roadblock. Roadblock, are you okay? I can't see. Just like in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> At least I can control one of these measles. Let's see how well you can fly without that jetpack. Get these suicidal birds off of me! We've lost pressure in our hydraulics and we're losing fuel. We gotta bug out of here. But Falcon and Crane and Eggs are still down there. I can't keep this thing in the air much longer. We have to go now or we will all be down there. Bye-bye, birdie! <laughs> Falcon! Falcon, are you okay? Falcon! My vacation was bodacious. Huh? Come on, tough guy, snap out of it! Crazy legs? Shh. Am I glad to see you? Where did you come from? Where's Heather? Wait, wait, where'd the freak show go? They split out the back door. The tomahawk is gone and we're on our own for now. Hang on, I'll be right back. Gotta get something upstairs. Hello, my little friend. Come on, let's get those wackos. Are we going to chase them in this? What other choice do we have? I sure hope this car belongs to James Bond. You have any guns on this thing? <laughs> Just a gnarly 247 horsepower engine. Rum. That thing is bouncing off the wall like Lucille Ball. Stop staring and start shooting. Are you okay? Hey, take a chill pill, Croc Master. Autos ought to keep him alive. Let's get out of here before his friends come back. Hey, Falcon, you okay? That shop class dropout almost cut my car in half. Well, he's gone now. Maybe he feels bad about wrecking your Mary Kay Cadillac. It's a vet, not your daddy's caddy. I heard you had an adventurous vacation. Sorry you're back so soon and your car is trashed. My vacation was bodacious. Whatever you say, Falcon. You're bodacious. Your mama's bodacious, jerk. My intuition tells me that there's something wrong with that guy. Remind me again, why do we need a psychiatrist on our team? I mean, I'm not saying you're not important. It's just that your job isn't that important. It's okay, Dial Tone. Your mom thinks you're important. This is Dial Tone. Yes, sir. He is, sir. Um, uh, yep. Uh, are you sure, sir? No, no, sir. I am not questioning you. I got it. I'll let him know. What was that all about? That was Duke. He wants you in his office. Something about debriefing lift ticket and some crazy talk about suicidal birds? 